Lessons 334. Today I claim the gifts forgiveness gives. Welcome to the Qigong Support for A Course in Miracles students. My name is Judith and this is the Lucid Mind Center. We are in the section of the special thought, what is the ego? And that special thought is very much about forgiveness, just the same as the majority of these lessons which are belonging to that special thought. And forgiveness is, is the only tool, according to A Course in Miracles, which is going to help us see the real world, the real, the truth. Forgiving everything, forgiving ourselves, forgiving our brothers, sisters, family members, basically forgiving all humans, but also forgiving our fate, forgiving the earth, you know, the nature, the God, whatever, and the, the situation our body is in. Basically forgiving everything, overlooking everything and focusing in on the light within each person and on, on focusing on the, on the divine in anything we lay our eyes on, hear, feel physically, anything that our senses get to perceive. The reason this is called Qigong support is because after reading and contemplating this lesson together with you now, I will guide you to Qigong classes which I have specially recorded for what is the ego and which are going to be particularly suitable for this lesson. I'll give you more instructions at the end. Let's begin reading our lesson now. Lesson 334. Today I claim the gifts forgiveness gives. I will not wait another day to find the treasures which my father offers me. <coughs> Illusions must be vain and dreams are gone even while they are woven out of thoughts that rest on false perception. I will not wait another day to find the treasures which my father offers me. Illusions must be vain. And dreams are gone even while they are woven out of thoughts that rest on false perception. Let me not accept such meager gifts again today. God's voice is offering the peace of God to all who hear and choose to follow him. We are all called. It is just the ones which are choosing to hear which are going to return faster into, into this into seeing the real world, into experiencing peace. Let me not accept such meager gifts again today. God's voice is offering the peace of God to all who hear and choose to follow him. And the God's voice is the Holy Spirit. This is my choice today. Today I choose to listen to the Holy Spirit. And so I go to find the treasures God has given me. The prayer goes like this. I seek but the eternal, for your son can be content with nothing less than this. What then can be his solace but what you are offering to his bewildered mind and frightened heart to give him certainty and bring him peace? Today I will behold my brother sinless. This your will for me for thus will I behold my sinlessness. And this is the key here. The key here is to see yourself as sinless and see your brother and our sisters and the other human as sinless. And when you think about it, the things which you maybe cannot forgive are usually somehow involving other people that you are accusing them. You might be accusing fate as well. Maybe something happened to you and, and you have got an injured body and maybe you're accusing, maybe you are holding a grudge against that, that you also want to, want to forgive. Maybe you have got an aching body. You want to forgive that too. It's about forgiving any of those situations where you are, which is holding you prisoner to, to the unwillingness to forgive the unwillingness to being loved, basically the unwillingness, unwillingness to return to peace and love and, and just the, the bare unwillingness itself. What am I using my unwillingness for? Am I using my unwillingness to experience the, the virtues 
within myself or am I using my unwillingness to experience fear and ego? This is to observe the unwillingness. It's always about returning back into, into the oneness. It's always about returning back into the most simple, into the most simple yet uniting, yet the, the most complete, the most, the true joy. And I've been speaking about yin yang quite a bit um, lately. The yin yang doesn't mean the female is negative and the, and the male is positive. It does not mean that. The yin yang is just describing that in, in this human experience, the division of the union into, into positive and negative as like, like a magnet. This was the first um, condition, if you will. So this was the first split. And from that first split, according to Chinese philosophy, became the assignment of the five elements, if you will, to, to recognize that, that the energy is flowing in different directions and the elements are describing the movement of energy. And from those elements, they say then in the, in the yeah. Chinese um, cosmology, if you will, the way they believed the Taoist view of how, how the world came to be, from those five elements, the 10,000 things evolved. And, and if you want to put this into cause and miracle terms, the 10,000 things are the, all these things which we are perceiving which are with our senses. Um, we are hearing music or voices. We are seeing um, things in our field of perception. I call it the field of perception. We are experiencing, we're, we're feeling with our skin the, the border of our body. And we, with our skin, we are feeling the, the edges of other things. This is physically proven that um, when you when you got a big enough, big enough microscope to look into our body or to look into the cost, consistency of that drawer unit, you, there is a vast spaces between its molecules and atoms. But to us, our body um, is giving is, is a sense. It's, the, it's a sense of touch. Our skin is giving us a border which is giving us an edge to, to, to describe ourselves. But we are, not, we are not the body. Our body is within our mind. Our mind is holding the images in this space and the, and the mind of other people. We are holding these this, um, images we have, this, this world we have, we're holding it in our reality, in our so-called reality. And the Course is teaching us to to see the real world means to engage the senses, to, to pull our, this, the, our perception back in, reassign it, if you will, give it a, a new reassignment and say, now you go out there and see the real world. And the yin and the yang is just the first division. It does not mean that the female are the, is the negative. And, the, and I remember when myself, uh, the first time when I kind of understood that the, that the yin, the darkness, is, is the female. Why is the female the darkness? It's not like every man is, is the light and every woman is the dark, is the negative. It's not like that. It is just describing the state of affairs, if you will. And also in the, in the darkness, it is easy to see the light. But in the light, it is not that easy to see the darkness. We want to return back into union. We want to return back into the light. So for returning back into the light, we have to overlook the darkness. We have to kind of not focus in on it. We have to focus on the, on the light within. We have to focus in on the innocence, the sinlessness. And the way to focus in on that, according to the Course in Miracles, is forgiveness. It is to sink back deep within and apply forgiveness to anything which is holding us in the ego world. And, and the course are calling it illusions. To, to, to go away from this state of illusions, return back deep within, return our senses within and reassign them to see the real world. And the real world is to see your brother sinless, is to see that there is... There is nothing which is out to get you. There is nothing which is out 
there to punish you, to scare you. This is a, this is a, a illusion of the ego. This is something which we have been taught and we have been taught from generation to generation. Of course, our body has got um, some signals, some automatic behavior from our reptilian brain, which is, which is sensing danger, physical danger, and then where we have to protect the body. That is also great. You shouldn't overrule that. that those signals are great there. But it's not about those signals. It's not like you are constantly feeling into your reptilian brain. What you're feeling into is your, the, the consistent flow of, of thoughts which are, which are creating the emotions within you. And the Course is teaching us to, to create the channel where we are going to allow this train of thoughts or this river of thoughts to be moving. Each, um, each lesson is giving us an idea, a new guideline of how we're going to think. And this whole 10-day um, period is about forgiveness. And I've, I've recorded a Qigong class where we are going to apply the lesson of today and the special thought to a situation or to a person which we, which we have not been able to forgive until now. We want to forgive this because we want to free ourselves and free our brother, free the world. I hope this makes sense. So with this in mind, let's read our lesson together again before I guide you to the Qigong class. Lesson 334. Today I claim the gifts forgiveness gives. I will not wait another day to find the treasures which my father offers me. Illusions must be vain and dreams are gone even while they are woven out of thoughts that rest on false perception. I will not wait another day to find the treasures which my father offers me. Illusions must be vain and dreams are gone even while they are woven out of thoughts that rest on false perception. Let me not accept such meager gifts again today. God's voice is offering the peace of God to all who hear and choose to follow him. This is my choice today. Today I choose to listen to the Holy Spirit. And so I go to find the treasures God has given me. The prayer goes like this. I seek but the eternal. For your son can be content with nothing less than this. What then can be his solace but what you are offering to his bewildered mind and frightened heart to give him certainty and bring him peace? Today I will behold my brother sinless. This your will for me, for thus will I behold my sinlessness. So incredibly beautiful. If you're the first time with me and you've never done Qigong, in the description you will also find links to the videos which I have recorded on how Qigong can help you as a Course in Miracle student. And you maybe want to watch them because they might help you enjoy Qigong more, especially as a, as a Course in Miracles student. And it is not about what I am saying. It really isn't about what I am saying. What it is about is that you, is, it is about your experience. And the Qigong classes I have designed is about um, helping us, both you and me, because I, I sink into a deep meditation myself when I'm doing them. It's about us sinking deep within and we are connected. Even if we never physically meet, we are connected. You are helping me and I'm helping you. And then we are connecting with the spirit. We are connecting with spirit. We are, we are connecting with, with our essence, that which makes us one, you and me. We connect with that and then we are allowing ourselves to clarify. We are using the Course in Miracles to clarify things. We sink in and then in this particular class, which I'm the classes which I'm suggesting today, we are allowing ourselves to forgive or to change our mind, to repurpose our senses. For this particular Course in Miracle lesson, I'm suggesting the forgiveness class for what is the ego. And this class is about repurposing our senses, which I think would be interesting for you to do today. Here you have the reading of what is the ego and here you have the list of all Qigong classes if you would like to do another one. Love, light and chi to you.